Orioles hosting the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are plus 136 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 162. The over-under, 10.5 runs. The Cardinals, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 116, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab on the $14.99 membership. It'll have my Discord. Uh, when you pay for it, it'll send you an email link, and all my best picks will be in the Discord in one of the channels. Now, Rom did not pitch against the Orioles either last year or this year. They are 1-3 and three in his four starts. Averaging four and a third innings pitched, 2.8 strikeouts, and three with an ERA of 3.75. For the Orioles, Gibson pitched twice against the Cardinals last year. Four innings, six runs, six earned. They lost that game seven to six. He struck out two. And then seven shutout innings. They won that game one nothing. That was in St. Louis, and he struck out five. They are three and two in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game with an ERA of 5.2. He In his last three against the Cardinals, averaging five and two-thirds, five hits, three earned runs, 3.7 strikeouts, 1.3 walks, 1.3 home runs, and 88 pitches. He did that uh, with the Phillies, the Phillies, and uh, then with the Twins. Those were his three appearances against the Cardinals. Now, for those who are going to be concerned about the wind because the over-under is so high, we'll see if it has anything to do with the ERAs of the pitchers. It's supposed to be blowing in at 5.8 miles per hour, but it looks like it's supposed to be raining towards the beginning of the game, so always be careful with that. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five five. The Orioles are 6-4. The underdog is 6-4 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line, you guessed it, 6-4. There have been one one run game in their last 10 meetings. The over is seven and three. And the over 10 and a half runs also seven and three. The game they played today, the Cardinals won 5-2. The game they played yesterday, the Orioles won 11-5. And good call to the people who called today as a trap game for the Cardinal or for the Orioles. Uh, kudos to you. The Cardinals are six and four in their last 10, two and two in their last four. The over is seven and three in their last 10 games. But the under has hit in three out of their last four. For the Orioles, they're eight and two in their last ten. The over is eight, one, and one, and they are two and two in their last four. This should be a bounce back game for the Orioles, even though Gibson did struggle against the Cardinals. I do think that the Orioles will bounce back. I'm gonna take the Orioles with the money line. I'm gonna take the Orioles laying the runs. And both of these pitchers are, uh, let's just check out the overs. The over is hitting Gibson's last two and is four and one in his uh, last five starts. And the over is three and one in Rom's starts. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.